Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing? Right, I'm just going to share this over to my group. So just bear with me while we wait to see if anyone's joining us. Okay, I'm live in the right place. That's always a bonus. Let's just share this over. Oh, my eyes won't let me work this morning. Okay. Job done. How are we? Anybody hopping on? Oh, there's a few of you here already. So, oh, I was awake again before five this morning, guys. I don't know what is going on, but since the clock's changed, my sleeping pattern has changed as well. Ellie, morning Ellie. How are you this morning? What are you up to? Are you crafting this morning? Or are you dashing out? Getting your jobs done while the children are at school? Oh, I've got a job to read comments on my phone, so I'm trying to read them on my Mac. Okay, so welcome to Stamp and Chat. This is the Love of Leaves round week five. My goodness, where are these weeks going? I I know we say it every week, but where is the time going? It's really scary. So, yep, we are on week five, Love of Leaves. Next week, we will be changing things up a little. Morning, Ruby. Nice to see you. I know you're gonna be crafting along with us this morning, so that's good to hear. Um, where was I? Yes, next week we are changing things up a little. I will be doing two lives next Tuesday. Um, and I'm going to be do use well, we're going to be using two different sets of kits. So I will chat more about that after. So Ellie, the kids are back at school. You're dismantling a unit for collection tomorrow. Ah, oh, fabulous. I know, I've got a couple of units to build up here. Um, well, shelving really, and some storage for my Calax that uh, my daughter got from Ikea for me if, uh, probably a good two or three weeks ago. Um, and I just have not had time. I'm looking around because I can see them on the floor. I'm dying to build them up, but I've just physically not had time to do anything other than preparing for my retreat and the run up to that, as I was telling you all last week, was really busy. Oh, morning, Kathy. Nice for you to join us again this morning. I hope you're doing okay. It's a bit fresh out there this morning. So yeah, and I thought, right, once the retreat is out of the way, I have a little bit of time and I can sort of relax a little. No, it's just gone super crazy. So obviously I've had to design for two Stampin' Chats. Um, and also, to throw in the mix, I've got my six card in the post class that should have been going out really at the beginning of this month and I've still not finished cutting, but I had to take preference on my stamp and chat kits because they have to go out in the post today. So as soon as I'm done with this live, um, I've got to try and get my printer to play ball because I've got labels to print for bags and it is being a right pain at the moment. I tried to print off again this morning um, the flyers for the promotions that we've got going but I'll chat about that after and it, it just wouldn't do it. Um, also I tried to print my little host code um, to pop on my grid paper here and it, it wouldn't print. Yeah, It printed yesterday. The, it's telling me it's out of ink but I can assure you it's not out of ink So and it's only a year old so it's just being a pain. So, anybody else joining? Kathy, you're good. That's good to hear. Right, so these are the previous projects that I've created with you on the lives. If you're new to here, um, you can scroll back through and find the previous stamp and chat lives that, that I did. And you can also find them on my YouTube channel as well so and if you do head over to my YouTube channel I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and give me a like um, or a thumbs up it will really really help 
um, for me to find new people as well and likewise with this live if you're able to share it so that your friends can connect with it as well that would be really great so love of leaves whoever is stamping with me live this morning you need to pull out card number five your little bag with number five on let's bring in the card and show you all what we're doing so this is the card we're making this morning nothing too rocket science i haven't done the stitched elements on my stamped leaves but you can if you want to i know some of you've got the dies that go with this and doing a bit of embossing as well so you will need to locate just take that completely off small leaf stamp the big one that looks a bit like a maple and this long one here for now you'll need your little sponge wedge as well I'm going to be using that on the layer let's just mount these up bigger block would be ideal for this stamp if you have it but if you don't by mounting it diagonally on the block let's have this long one for this one right stamps mounted just move those out of the way for the moment and locate some card pieces so in your kits you had your bases separate and remember your card bases I've, I've pre-scored so as not to confuse with other sheets of cardstock that I popped in your kit so you've got an inner piece and you've got your outer piece your inner piece is slightly larger did I say that right the inny yes your inny is slightly larger than your outside piece so put that to one side for the moment because we'll be stamping our greeting and then we've got some strips of cardstock we have seaside foam we have mossy meadow and we have grey granite and this layer here is your crumb cake that I've already embossed for you so let's pop these to one side first of all I'm going to start let's bring this back in to show you just to create the background on this piece so we've used the large I'm going to call it a maple the large maple stamp to do this one so if you want to open up your ink and I've got a piece of scrap because we're going to be stamping off of the edge of this sheet and I think I've stamped off as well on mine nice wobble going on I really don't know what I'm going to do about the wobble it's a bit frustrating so I'm going to stamp off to start with and then just stamp one leaf in one corner remember about your sponge mat that I should be using really with the photopolymer oh I just dunked my thumb in then let's quickly wipe that that wasn't good stamp that one off and then we'll do the other corner the opposite like that put you to one side so talking of sponge mats what have I done with mine? It's there right in front of me. This is the sponge mat that goes with the Stamparatus, the Stamparatus, whatever you prefer to call it. Um, it's only, I think, £2.75. And obviously it's designed to work with that tool, but it's really good for just general stamping in place of our old foam mat. So let's pop you to one side now we're going to take our actually i'm going to stamp off with my sponge take your little sponge who's stamping with me this morning anyone else rita i'm not sure what you're up to today whether you're about or you've got an appointment and then we're just going to go around the edge now i've gone quite heavy on this because I want it to 
stand out. I really want it to pop out. Oh, that was a bit heavy on that corner, but be fine. Yeah, I'm all out of sync with my days. Feeling a bit lost, and I've, I feel like I've lost track of time at the moment because... Jason was away car racing at Thruxton on Saturday, so he went on Friday. So I worked most of Friday evening. I'm just going to take a bit of that off and go over the edge a bit more. Um, yeah, I worked Friday evening and then on Saturday I was really lucky to have three lovely ladies join me for some stamping on Saturday morning which went through to about two o'clock and then I continued to work over here until Jason came home at about 6.30 and then on Sunday morning he got up and went off on his motorbike for a bit like an enduro so like green laning I think they call it so he went off with the lads to spend a bit of time out in the fresh air on his bike so what did I do I came over and worked of course glutton for punishment and it, and it's a good job that I love love what I do um, and I've got plenty to keep me busy at the moment so I kind of feel that I didn't really have a weekend like I normally would so and I spent a lot of time over here which is fine like I say because I do love it but I feel like my days are it feels like it should be Thursday already and being awake waking up really early as well is much fun so I'm really tired and flaking at night which isn't you know I'm normally a go to awake early and go to bed early kind of girl anyway but um yeah I'm tired I'm tired but the sun is out today we've had a lot of rain in the night um, and a bit of rain this morning first thing when I walked halfway around the garden it's before seven um, but there's blue sky out there and the sun is out so you know we should be thankful for that gonna pop this layer just to one side for the moment how are we doing who's stamping anybody stamping Ruby did you manage to get we get going okay next you need to locate some scrap whisper white I'm gonna just snip I've got a strip here I'm just gonna snip it down the middle so that when I put it on my stamp and cut and emboss machine I can put them next to each other rather than having it in a long run. I'm going to take this lovely little leafy stamp and I'm not stamping off, I'm just going to stamp it straight down like that. Bring in my bit of scrap and then take this long leafy image and I'm going to stamp this one off just so that we've got oops two different tones because obviously we've only got the one ink I'm not sure what that dark color there is something on my stamp probably but it'll be fine so we'll die cut those out in fact I'm going to snip I'm going to snip for those who don't have the dies. If you've not seen the dies before, let's bring them here. Ruby, you're there. Okay. Are you concentrating, honey? <laughs> um, these are the stitched leaves dies. Have I got you in view? Yeah. I absolutely, I know I say this a lot about a lot of our products, but believe me when I say it is genuine I do love the quality of our products I love the coordination you know that was the one thing that drew me into joining and being a demonstrator you know 11 years ago was the coordination I loved how things work together so these are just fantastic dies and I, I'm going to say it I do love them I'm, I'm in love with lots of our products at the moment um, but I just loved the stitched elements not just around the outside that would be left as your negative but the pieces that that work together they're just stunning absolutely lovely set of dies so I needn't have wasted so much 
Whisper White cardstock. Let's turn you around. Anybody remember this ribbon? Gosh, that was from a long time ago, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's just snip around these. Not very good at cutting and talking at the same time. But we'll have a go. Check I'm still in shot. That is the beauty about these leaves. They're pretty easy to cut around. So I was going to chat a bit later, which I will do as well. Today we've had two new promotions that we are offering. We have the Joy to the World Paper Pumpkin Kit, which has gone live today. Now, if you are part of my VIP group, you will have seen that I offered to take pre-orders so that first thing this morning, I could pop an order straight through to order them. So if you are unsure what a paper pumpkin kit is, in America, they they have a subscription service where these paper pumpkin kits come every month um, and you subscribe to it and it arrives through your door and inside nobody knows what's coming usually but inside is a variety of products usually a mini stamp set um, mini ink pad and then die cuts and embellishments and things like that um, I'm just going to grab an old one because it's right by me we don't have the subscription sadly um, and I think that's partly down to translation um, for us to have it here in Europe it means translating it into several different languages and I think it's just too tricky so does anybody remember this one that we had it was beautiful so the joy to the world one is obviously a Christmas version I've posted on here earlier um, a little picture of the flyer so and as I said I couldn't print it off but um, it's £20 and it includes enough product in the kit to make eight cards but there will be lots you can do with it once you've made those cards and I'm hoping once my kit arrives because I wasn't able to pre-order um, I can only order it the same time as you so as soon as it arrives I will have a play with it and come on here and show you some other things that you can create with it so if anybody is local and you can collect from me or you know that I come your way and I can deliver then I'm placing an order at lunchtime so if you'd like to add to my order then just get in touch with me or of course you can do an online order and use my current host code as well if your order is over £30 right I've cut those two leaves out how are you doing Ruby? Have you done that? Are you with me? Okay, next I'm going to take a piece of soft sea foam, so you should have a scrap of that Ruby, and we're going to use this die. So I treated myself to some new plates for my stamp and cut an embossed machine so I've ordered this one is not new obviously you can see from that but because it's still pretty flat I'm tempted to leave it on the bottom because it's it's still performing okay but the top plate had got um, very bent and so I treated myself to some new ones I do also have the magnetic plate I've not tried it yet maybe I should try it so here is the new magnetic plate so as you can see the dies go on here and they grip by the magnet so let's use this so this is let me put that somewhere safe I'm going to be able to find it you cut down to the the gray side it's a self-healing mat um, I'll just show you the other side it's just got like a gray shiny surface so this is designed to be used on the whole surface so not just in the center where you might do with the magnetic plate plat platform that we had before 
um, it's designed to be used all over so it means you can put your dies um, into the corners and use the whole of the surface and it is a consumable item so this is not going to last a lifetime it will last for as long as or as much as you use it um, where are my instructions that came with it well, I don't want to waffle too long about this so it says to replace your cutting plate when the cut lines in the self-healing service create marks on your die cuts or when the surface becomes pitted and doesn't give good results now there have, has been a bit of chat about this plate bending slightly um, and I'm yet to find that out because obviously I haven't used it yet so let's give it a go let's pop this on here pop my top plate on hope these are the right layers I've not even checked and I'm just gonna turn around and run this through my machine properly and just run this one through as I would normally. Oh I know what I'm missing. That's what I'm missing. Having a blonde moment. I'm missing plate number two guys. That is why it's not cutting. Okay. Just bear with me. I've not done a runner and left the building, just figuring it out, that's better, that feels like the right sandwich, forgetting all about the number two plate, okay, don't you just love the negative, see I would be very tempted just to cut around that and use that for something else. So I don't know if you can see how it's cut into there, but it's supposed to do that. That is perfectly normal. So I've got my little die there. Let's pop those back with the others so they don't get lost. Give my Mac a little refresh. So what were you all up to over the weekend? wasn't the best of weather was it guys okay I've totally lost my train of thought there that was the magnetic plate and not having the right layers that threw me for a moment so I'm gonna bring in my card Ruby just so you can see because I know that you are definitely stamping here with me you can see where we're at so we've stamped and cut out the leaves you will already have this piece in your kit so I'm just going to quickly cut these two layers and these are from the Tasteful Labels dies and I've used these so much so I've used these through the whole of this Stampin' Chat just because they're such a fabulous set. So I need some scrap white, let's bring that plate back in, see if I can get both of these. I'm tempted to use the outsides of this platform because it's I always tend to normally put things in the middle of the plate. Just run that through. a usable die set okay and while I'm over on my stamp and cut and emboss machine just 
going to emboss this layer and these are the greenery embossing folders well one of them and I've cut this to three and a quarter I believe which is the width of this little folder and I'm just going to run that through I'm going to take out that number two plate and make a sandwich with my clear plates and run that through it's not squeaking is it today which is good do you know I love this embossing folder from both sides ever so pretty okay now what I think that's all our die cut pieces for now let's start putting our card together I've got a bit of stamping to do so I'm just going to take my base layer whisper white run my bone folder down there Jason said to me this morning when he left, do you think you might find some time to rake some leaves today? <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't mind raking up the leaves. I quite enjoy it actually. I love a bit of outdoor exercise, but I've got too much to do today. I've got a dental appointment later as well that I need to get to. And some deliveries to drop en route. So, right, this layer that we sponged and stamped. I'm going to pop this one straight down on my base layer. So a bit of Tombow on the back and just pop that down with a nice even border all the way around as far as can be. Check I've got my card facing the right way of course before we go any further and I'm going to automatically stick this embossed layer down as well a bit of glue on the middle of there because of all the raised parts of this just to help it stick and this is going as central as possible this um, this desk I'm at, this is the IKEA Kitchen Island. It's pretty high when you're working. It's at a good level, don't get me wrong, it's at a good level. But when you want to see if something is straight, I need to get on my tippy toes. Okay, bring in your little strips. And we will start with the mossy meadow, which should be cut to size. I'm not looking at comments. Is anybody talking to me? A bit of Tombow on the back there. And we'll lay this one down near the bottom. Hold it up to see if it's straight. Okay, and your grey granite strip, I've given you longer than you need. So let's start, it's easier to snip off that end. Have a little bit of an overhang on either edge and then snip off that end. Now I think I've just laid that one down flat, so a bit of Tombow on the back of there, try not to get it on the fingers, and we'll pop that one down, got a bit of Tombow on me then, is that straight? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, now this long skinny strip of soft sea foam I've taken like a fishtail out of the end of this now if you don't have a banner punch or the old hexagon punch was really good for that 
or let me grab, I think this one is called Classic Label. Do you remember we used to have the old word window? So it's very similar to that, but it has pointy ends rather than rounded ends. And you can just pop that centrally in and take a snip out. And put that to one side. And we're going to have this, it's not very central, but I'm not going to argue with that. Roughly there like that. Bit of Tombow on the back. I'm probably right out of shot. Probably right out of shot. Just happily crafting away here. So yeah, I'm really excited to receive my Joy to the World kit. Um, can't wait to have a play with it. And I know some of you are excited as well, so. We very rarely have the Paper Pumpkin offerings. Um, we had, we've, this will be our third now. Uh, but like I've said, I don't think it will be coming in our direction as a regular monthly subscription which is sad but I totally understand the whole logistics of it so right what should we do next let us pop some dimensionals on the back of here I love my mini ones struggling with lack of nails at the moment let's pull the backs off Very quiet here. And we'll pop that one roughly about there. Like so. Now I have used a greeting in here that fits this little label. And I've taken this one. Your friendship is something I know I can count on. We've used this one before. I'm just going to mount that one up. Now, of course, I'm going to have mine like that. If you have a greeting that works that way, you're more than welcome to stamp something on there. You don't have to use the one from your set. You can hover it over that way. You can pop it wherever you like. So let's just ink this up, refresh my Mac because it keeps going to sleep and line that up with my grid. If I start with it straight on my grid then we're, we're heads up. I'm on tiptoe now and I'm wobbling everything. Stomp that one down. And I've layered this one flat down onto here just because another layer, you could pop another layer under here of dimensionals, but if you're posting, then that's going to put pay to a standard stamp. It's going to have to go as a large letter. So I'm just going to lay this label on top of the other, like that and then bring in these other pieces. Locate my bone folder. Just give these a little curl. Like that. And we're gonna lay them somewhere up in this corner, like this. We don't want this one to go over our wording though so let's start with with this one first so I'm literally popping a bit of Tombow and laying that one moving out a bit 
because our flower is going to hide the stems. Let's just make sure we've got room for this one, yes. And then a bit of Tombow under the bottom of this one as well. And I have this one coming down in this direction. And then finally your die cut in the soft sea foam. And then in your kit you would have received some of the, the blooms, small bloom punch. And I'm just going to pop one of these out of my scrap bit. Locate my lid. And a bit of Tombow just there to hide the stems of the leaves. Just hold that down a minute while the Tombow dries and sticks. Then you need to locate your gems. They're not gems, I say this every time. These are the enamel dots. And you can use whatever you like. You should have plenty left. But I'm going to use a large one. I think it looks quite nice in the middle of here. In the middle, like that. Just bring everything up back to its 3D state. And I think we are then done. So there we go, that's the outside of our card done. Judy. Morning Judy. You're missing everyone. I know it's rotten, isn't it? You've been poorly and you can't wait to get back to crafting. Oh sweetheart, I know when we've texted you said you've been poorly. Bless you. Thanks for your nice words. You're enjoying the videos and they're keeping you going. That is so nice to hear. And that's the one great thing about about Facebook. I'm not the biggest fan of Facebook. Um and I was never really running to get my foot in the door to do Facebook Lives because it is out of my comfort zone. I know I've stood up on stage and crafted in front of lots of people before, but the whole thing about the lives, you know, was pretty scary. But I do have to say that I absolutely love it now. I've, I feel like I'm connecting with you. I feel like I've got people in the room with me here when I'm doing my lives. So, you know, and I'm hu human, things go wrong. Um, things go a little belly up sometimes, but that's part of the fun, you know, and we can all laugh together about it. So, well, I hope that you are feeling a little bit better um, and that you can get back to your, your crafting really soon, Judy. So, I mean, we're just about to be going back into lockdown. So not very nice thought is it guys so we need to be doing things to distract us and that is the one great thing about crafting we kind of get into the zone and we we're totally distracted from everything else going on around us so that is the one great thing about what we do and i'm hoping to get get on here more um now my retreat is out of the way and share more things with you and go live more and get some more videos going and more classes in the post so that we can do more of this together with more of you. So let's just grab our insert. I'm going to bring in my mat for this. I'm going to bring in my little foam mat. And I know I'm using all of the greetings. Each week I'm using the greetings. This may, you know, this is your card so you totally decide what you want to put on your greeting and on the inside you may have this card could be for someone in mind and you may want specific words to put on but because your friendship is something i know i can count on i'm going to use again that i'm so glad you're in my life because i think that just goes so well with it so let's just pull it out of the box and just going to pull this leaf off of here 
and gives that a quick wipe and mount that up. Make sure I haven't got ink on my fingers with this lovely white piece of cardstock here. Judy, you're, you're on the mend. That's good to hear. Bless you. All those, all that preparation for the wedding probably took its toll on you. Can't wait to see some photos either. But it was lovely. Okay, so I'm just going to ink up this word. Let's have this straight on. This, this, um, this bit of scrap, I've cut up uh, a sheet of our grid paper but you can buy grid paper this size that goes with the stamparatus now do my oh I moved it then do my best to try and line this up even though I can't really see and you know what I'm like about things not being straight it's not too bad in fact that's pretty good I shouldn't say not too bad it's not quite in the middle but we go shall we put let's put my big favorite leaf in the corner bring that back in I'm gonna stamp off on the edge of here just stamp that off and pop that up there with second generation such a lovely image that one and then open up my card and pop this one in. I'm getting really anxious about my phone battery. I think I might have to invest in a new phone, guys. I really don't want to because it still works. There's, I say there's nothing wrong with it. You know the microphone isn't good, so I have to have this external one plugged in. Which works well, um, but it means I've got cables coming everywhere for lighting, a microphone. And if I'm going to continue to use this phone, I'm going to have to get another um, adapter so that I can charge it at the same time as having my microphone in. So yeah, maybe I should just invest the money into a new phone and somebody else can get the use out of my phone, I'm sure. So there we go. That's our final card for this round. Where have those 10, 11 weeks gone? Scary, scary. So let's move all of this out of the way because I just want to bring in and show you quickly before I go because I've been waffling for almost 45 minutes a little sneak peek of what is coming next week. I'm just grabbing some stamps. So as I said we have two Stampin' Chats happening next week. Kits are going out today if you have joined. If you would still like to join and be able to create create the projects from my videos, you your kits won't get to you in time for the first live, but you'll be able to catch up. So if anybody is interested in either of these, the details are on my page, so do scroll down. Um, but the one is All Things Fabulous. So this is the first card we'll be making next week. So Ruby, you're on here. Kathy, you've enjoyed watching the video. Thank you. Thanks. And Ellie, super card as always. Thank you, Ellie. That's kind. So this is the one card. So within the stamp and chat, you will receive the All Things Fabulous stamp set. You will get a Rococo Rose ink pad and then various other project uh, products, the, the rhinestones and some twine and obviously the card kits. You will not get shaded spruce but I know there's a few of you who did my first stamp and chat where the shaded spruce ink, ink pad was included so we're quite limited with the one Rococo Rose because this is um, a two-step stamp which means we're layering up the image using more than one stamp so that it's until you see this stamp and you use it you you won't appreciate how how it all comes together but you could use to create this flower these flowers you could use three different colors and we're just using one so so that's the all things fabulous and then the other one is the ornamental envelope so here's card we'll be doing with that 
So I think I'll be going live at 10 and then probably again at 11.30 um, just so that that allows me time to get my phone recharged and set up, clear away and set up ready for the next one. So I will put more details about that and those of you that have actually subscribed to this um, I will let you know for definite which one I'm doing first. So, so those are coming next week and I'm super excited, excited about those. I'm loving all of the projects I've designed with both options, so the Christmas and the non-Christmas. What else do I need to tell you really quickly? Um, you like this card, Ruby? Oh, I'm just loving the colours. So this, this is actually shaded spruce stamped off and it looks very just jade, I will say. So some of the other cards we're going to be teaming with just jade as well. A bit of cardstock to bring another colour in. So this is from the paper pack. Um, what is it called now? Where have I hidden my Christmas celebrations? Classic Christmas, nothing like it. Um, these are, you're going to get a glare because it's in its packaging. This is from the Curvy Christmas, Curvy Christmas? quite curvy um, bundle that is happening at the moment so that went live today along with the joy to the world stamp set and my flyer has gone walkabouts but it's the curvy celebrations um, collection and it's a stamp set which I'm looking around for because I know we were playing with it I'll bring in the card so there are two stamp sets. There's um, a non-Christmas stamp set and a Christmas. So this is called the Quite Curvy. And then there's a Christmas version as well, which I believe is called Curvy Christmas. And there are a set of dies that goes with it as well, along with this pack of pattern paper, which is a limited time offering. Um, but more details will come out about that very soon. So without further ado, I'm looking forward to some of you joining me next week. Um, take care, guys. I'm just quickly reading to see if there's any more comments. Thank you, Judy. You're looking forward to these. Yep, so next Tuesday, I'll be live at 10, again at 11.30. I will pop up on here beforehand uh, which live I'm doing first. I may well do the non-Christmas version first and then follow on with the other one. So... I think that's it from me so head over to my website at kerrytims.co.uk I've got lots I need to update on there I've kind of taken a back seat from it the last couple of weeks because I've just been so flat out so um, I need to now get going and get these kits finished and packed and out in the post today so thank you for joining me lovely people and I hope to see you back here very soon so take care in the meantime Bye for now.